Welcome, welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started with our celebrity tarot card reading. We are going to get into our reading in just a few and go over the celebrities who I'm doing the reading on. But first, hit subscribe. Go ahead and follow this and make sure that you're sharing these videos. Make sure you share with everybody that you love dearly. Send it to your friends and family, please and thank you. Um, thank you so much for being so patient with my time away. I am back, so this is my second tarot reading as of November 2023. So um, we have, I had a list. I've been writing the list. I've been keeping track of the celebrities. I've been doing all the things, even while I was getting my shit together and, you know, getting through what I needed to get through, get aligned spiritually, physically, and mentally. So I am prepared to get into this right now. We are going to get into none the other Taylor Swift and her man, Travis Kels. I think that's how I say his name. I'm going to find out in just a minute. Okay, so Travis Kels and Taylor Swift. Okay, I know that this is dangerous grounds um, because of the Swifties. I know that this is dangerous grounds. I do, I do. I know that um, they could tear me apart. They could tear the channel apart. I'm willing to sacrifice. I'm not. Just don't tear the. Just don't tear it apart, okay? Um, if you don't like this reading, it's. I have nothing against Taylor Swift. I have nothing against the boy she's dating or whatever. I just. I'm just doing the reading, okay? Um, I do love her music though. I love her lyrics. I think she's an amazing singer. I think she's a beautiful person. Um, that guy too is really good looking. I'm <laughs> just FYI. Okay, so. I'm gonna talk about real quick their relationship timeline, okay? Uh, she's a singer, she sings Shake It Off. She's one of the biggest singers. She's um, blank space, all the things. You know who she is, Taylor Swift. We don't have to really get into depth here. Um, it was apparently appearing that she kept going to his games and that's kind of where it started hanging out or her hanging out there. Um, they were just hanging out. There was no pressure, the source said. Um, Kels did say that he talked about Swift in a lot of different interviews. Um, he attended Taylor Swift's Ares tour. Um, they relieved that um, he tried to get her phone number and like things like that. So like, it just kind of like the dating timeline led up to them dating. Um, there were some dating rumors going on. Um, so I don't even know if it's for sure if they're dating. Yeah, 100% true. They say that they're, yeah, so somebody said that they eat. it's not a joke. They're literally dating. Yeah, I don't know much. Okay, anyway, so she looks all cute and giddy and happy. And um, when, he's at, when she's at the games, she's like, hey, my boyfriend, you know, super excited. I think it's really great. I think it's, um, I think it's cool. And um, he thinks that she's really rad. And he looks really happy and kind of over the moon about it. They seem like really cute when they're walking around doing their thing. Um, whether or not they say they're dating or not, it's like, who cares? Like, we clearly know what you two are doing. Um, it does not take a scientist to figure that out. Uh, let's see. But we want to know more about it, okay? So let's just get into it more. Because my cards let me know if things are fraud or not. So it'll let me know. Okay. Taylor Swift was born in Pennsylvania in the United States. Her birthday is December 13th, 1989. Um, she's an American singer-songwriter. Her name is Taylor Allison Swift. She was raised in Wyoming, Sing, Pennsylvania. She moved to Tennessee at 14. She pursued her music career at that point. Um, she's a Sagittarius and her moon sign is a Cancer. Travis Kels was born in Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States, October 5th, 1989. They were both born in 1989. Okay. And he is a, an American football tight end for the Kansas City Chiefs of the National Football League and was drafted by the Chiefs in the third round of 2013. He plays football. Amazing. Um, and she's a freaking country singer. So I think they're cute whatever. He's a Libra. Moon sign is a Sagittarius. So we got a Libra. Her Venus is Aquarius. Oh, he's a Venus Scorpio. Bleh. Bleh. Libra and a Sagittarius. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, let's just get into the reading. Let's find out what's going on with Taylor and... Travis. 
little bit of air, a little bit of air. Okay. All right. I don't want to read this card. <laughs> uh, so he... Okay, we have Devil Upright, Ace of Wands Upright. Um, she's, it's very hard for her to move forward in a relationship. Um, almost like she, there's a lot of blocked things going on. And this would definitely have to do with any opportunities she has. Anything that she does for... Um, you know, work or whatever she does when she's singing and she's doing all these things. And it's almost like an addiction. It's almost like an, a to, a to, a to a point where it feels a little scattered and out of control. Like she can't get a grasp on how to have a relationship and have all of this passion for singing and all this passion for, you know, all of these things that arise um, creatively and um, that challenge her, you know, getting into more newness and, and really pushing the adventure of what she's doing as far as being a singer. Because I know that she's an amazing creative person who changes shit constantly um, and just makes it's just a very charming thing that she's always got going for, as far as like her work and what she does for her fans. Um, she's very trapped in it though. So it, cause it keeps coming up addictions, but I'm not feeling like an addiction here. I'm not feeling a physical or like an emotional or a mental addiction. I'm just feeling like an, and it's not even like a bad addiction. It's just, it's an addiction to her work, but so much so that it affects the rest of her relationships or the rest of, you know, the things that she's got going on. And this is her creative vision. This is all the things that she pushes as far as her new beginnings and her new starts and, you know, getting um, her passion and her outlets and, all of this is kind of building up as bondage. It's kind of trapping her in this place in her life. Instead of, you know, um, walking away in relationships, she's just continually walking, you know, onto the stage. And that's kind of what I'm feeling from this. Um, over on his end, there's definitely fairness and balance in his energy, there's a lot of um, things coming up as far as like any past decisions that for some reason kind of surrounds him. I don't know what that means because I don't know who he is, but anything that he has put effort into like relationships, maybe romance, maybe just in general legalities or things that um, has happened and he's had to deal with, um, those things come up and those past decisions, those past things keep coming up in his energy. Again, I'm not sure what that means because I don't know him. Um, any kind of like efforts that he puts into romance, it's just, he's very balanced about it. He would be very balanced about it um, and fair. Um, it's, it's almost like something's fucking behind him. It just feels like something that, that again, this, it's just like he, he's coming across like this all American, you know, football player, yada, yada, yada. Um, uh, this really fair person, this really nice, balanced um, individual. But I'm just feeling like there's a lot of things that are from his past that will kind of rise to the occasion when it comes to his energy moving forward in a purposeful situation or new beginning or any type of a relationship. And that's just kind of what I'm feeling. And the completion or the contentness here is very scattered when it comes to what something in his past. I don't know what it is. Um, if you know him, if you're aware of this, please leave a comment. I would love to know. Um, anything as far as this relationship is just, he's doing something about this relationship now. He is definitely putting forth the effort here. Um, he's, 
he might have like not right away, but I feel like he really wants to put some effort into this relationship, some hard work. And I think that that's a given. I mean, and he definitely wants to see, you know, kind of what he so reaps. So he's just kind of watching and waiting. So I think he's a very fair person. I think there's a fairness here. I think he wants to find some sort of reliability, something tangible in a relationship that could go long-term, safety, security. Um, he wants a home life. There's all these things that are coming across here, but there's also, again, there's this very edgy past energy. I don't know what it is. Um, Okay, so I was just feeling that negative energy and it's coming up again with the Eight of Swords upright. And it is a very frustrating energy. It's very much like in a place where um, he'll feel like it's hard to love if there's any difficulties here. So I don't know if him just feeling like he's over it and he's feeling shameful about not being able to progress in the relationship or being able to really put forth his effort, um, that will make this a really uncomfortable situation. There is a bad influence around him. Um, I don't know who that might be. It could be an air sign, could even be an earth sign, but there is somebody who is around him. There's an energy around him that is very uncomfortable. It's very much communicating to him, um, you know, kind of bad influencing, um, maybe a part of his um, communication team. I don't know. I don't think it's a part of his like actual work team though. I don't think it's a part of that. Um, but the bad influence would be like, stay away from domestic life type of energy. There's a need to be alone here too on his end. So that makes things very frustrating. That could make it to the point where, you know, he doesn't continue a relationship because it'd be too challenging because he does like to spend a lot of time alone. He has a very, very um, underlining shadow. There's definitely something going on there and he it's not out there probably as much as hers would be because she kind of talks about and puts everything out on the front lines so she kind of like lets people know she communicates where she's at in life at always it's a big part of her singing and a part of her lyrics and what she does for work um she would bring a stable home life she's definitely in this to celebrate some sort of a you know a, a love a commitment she's in it i mean with six of wands in reverse it's not there but that's what she is coming with she would she would give this person a strong relationship whether or not it's an easy relationship i think that's what he would prefer the easy the easy thing so um just kind of like if it's too much he's just not it's just not happening um i do feel like she would be into celebrating this as more of an important type of relationship she would definitely be in it for a milestone or some sort of tradition i feel like there's a lot of passion behind her when she's dealing with this guy she has a lot of passion for sure. Um, as far as like, you know, being wild and, you know, um, completely hot for him, she is. I mean, she is. She's very charmed by this person. Um, like the outcome here. Oh, God. I do not want to say this, but I have to because these are the cards that popped up and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, it's indicating that without her progressively constantly doing self-love or self-care or taking care of herself in a certain sense, that she's unable to do that um, for some reason when she's involved in other relationships because she's such a big, she has such an outlet of energy pouring out um, as far as her career and her work. This is just indicating that self-love, self-care is constantly being needed, constantly need, needing, you know, some sort of a requirement here to um, build into a relationship. Um, I feel like communication is going to get real fuzzy on his end. I think that that's going to come to a halt. Um, I feel like he could have... Um, possibly jumped into the situation before even thinking about it. I feel like he thought, you know, like, oh, this is going to be great. Um, this is going to be a nice relationship. I can do this. I just don't think he realized the dark shadow that is really kind of around him and something that is going on from his past and some sort of bad, bad influence that is around him right now. Again, I think he's just going to get real quiet. I think he, he doesn't, he does not want to ignore what he's actually needing, whether it's good or bad, okay? And this has nothing to do with being in a relationship with her. This will end um, 
because she'll get into a place where she's got anxiety about the situation. It's just going to kind of become hopeless, especially when that communication goes away. So the communication will go away eventually. This is not working out. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. <laughs> Ooh, I really did not want to do this. I didn't want to do this, but this was on the list. You all forced me to show you really dark spots in this relationship. And I did not want to, okay? Because I really felt like it was kind of like country Barbie, Ken, and yeah, country Barbie and Ken, okay? He's a football player. She's a country singer star. Like, why, why are you not together? Because I just don't think that they're gonna work, okay? And I really feel like he's just gonna bail because it's gonna get real fuzzy. Communication's gonna go goodbye. He, there's gonna be nothing. It's gonna be quiet. He's gonna ignore. Okay. And she's going to have a lot of anxiety surrounding it. And she's going to have to deal with that because if you have anxiety about some things going on in a relationship and you're feeling a little hopeless and you're feeling like maybe it's kind of like at a point of no return, you're not going to be able to do self-care and do self-love and just manage yourself, especially all the work and energy that goes in to what she's already doing. Because let's be real, her real boyfriend or her real husband are the fans and her work. That's her real man. Okay. Let's just I mean, she does need to date, you know, so that she can keep up and, you know, with, you know, what she's singing about, but whatever. I really wanted it to work and I'm really sorry that it didn't. <laughs> I hope I'm wrong. Okay, so have a good day. I am so happy that you came back. Please and thank you, share, like, and follow. And again, thank you so much for your patience, making sure that I'm taking care of myself as well so that I can do some tarot readings for you all. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you on the next tarot reading. I'll see you on the flip side. Goodbye.